today I'm going to go over some of my favorite shortcuts in PowerPoint 2010. You don't need to take notes uh, because I have all of this on a one-page printable job aid um, and I'll give the link for download um, at the end and I'll also put it in the, uh, the screencast. But uh, today we're going to go over um, the PowerPoint ribbon, the quick access toolbar, and also some shortcuts. Some you'll know and some will probably be new to you. With that, let's go ahead and get started. So in uh, PowerPoint 2007, they first introduced the ribbon. Um, and that's the area up here. The layout's a lot different than it was in PowerPoint 2003 and earlier versions. Uh, it's a little confusing at first, but it's actually a really nice visual layout where you can click through the tabs and see more of what you're going to do. Um, you can learn these on your own just by, by clicking around. One thing that a lot of people don't know, though, is um, the hotkeys. So if you hit the Alt button, you'll see it opens up these little letters here. And what that means is you can type that letter and uh, you can use that as a shortcut. So let me click off of these. So if I were to hit Alt, N for insert, and then you'll see that there's a P for picture, it'll go ahead and open that up. So I could just drop an image right in there. And that's true for the rest of the commands too. Um, and what's nice is it's very visual. So when you hit Alt, it'll show you what letter. Um, and the ones you do frequently, you'll, you'll memorize over time. Now in PowerPoint 2010, they actually allow you to customize your ribbon, but I choose to leave my ribbon how it is, um, just so that it's the standard settings. So if I use somebody else's um, computer, I know where things are. Um, what I do instead is um, I use the quick access toolbar and that's this area here and um, it will stay on the screen no matter which tab you click on you'll see that this area stays there and I put some of my most frequent and useful tools there um, in general um, I group them here I have all my alignment then I have distribution I have some of the text things and formatting objects um, and that's a miscellaneous section here where I have some layering um, and other items as well. So I don't have time to go over everything. Let's just fly through a couple of these. Let's say these, these aren't aligned and I want to align them. I could select all four of these and I could click align left. I could also do uh, you know, align right or, or whatever. Um, then there's also something called distribute. Let's say I wanted these three sticky pads to be an equal distance apart. If I just move the left one and the right one where I want, Oops, I accidentally hit uh, control there. And I want these to be equally distributed. I can just click all three and then distribute them evenly and you'll see they're spread out the same distance. Um, I use that one a lot. For the fonts, I just like having um, the font control know what, I, what size I have, what sort of font, and then same thing with the shapes. Um, one of the really useful things with shapes is let's say these are all different sizes. I could go here and make them the same width and uh, now if I were to align them you'll see they both left and right align and that's useful for other things like pictures as well. Some of the other things within uh, PowerPoint 2010 that's new is some of the shape union so I can take these two objects I could select them and I could create a single shape oops I should have put them together let me uh, get out of that drag it on top of each other and now I have a single shape that I can drag around some of the other useful things, uh, I might have this guy here and I want to change the direction that he's facing. Um, so I, I keep my flip horizontal there so he can, I can change where he's facing. Um, I also like to have the uh, selection pane here. Um, it controls the layers, um, but that's a, a whole lesson on its own. Let's go ahead and close that out. Um, now, you don't need to memorize all of these here, but I, I like to keep these as a job aid. Some of these shortcuts, um, you're going to know copy and paste and undo, um, and I don't have time to go over all of them, although I will do some lessons in the future. But there's a few here that you might not know about, you know, like uh, copy format. It's kind of like the, the format painter. I could click on here, do control, shift C, and I could paste control, shift V and it copies that format over. Um, some of the other things that are neat, um, you can lock as aspect ratios by holding shift, and I'm running out of time here. Um, you know, you can play around with these on your own. Um, it, I have this one page that shows everything, um, and uh, I'll post the link in the screencast notes, and it's also, if you go to the home page and tools, you can find it there.